Oh, there you are. Oh, I'm so I've glad to see you. I've been looking all over for you. I mean, what? I mean, you asked me to give you this lift. I'm oh, trying. you wouldn't believe what I've been through. I mean, Contessa Vanessa put me on a bus. She fed me this drunk fleshy, and 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 I was in Detroit, and I had to rob a zombie. And I'm starving. I haven't had anything to you, eat. You robbed a zombie? I did. It was it was, it was called Rob Zombie, and so I tried to rob him, but it didn't work out too well. And you tried to. Rob, Rob Zombie? Well, that's his name, Rob Zombie. That's what I thought I was supposed to do. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> well, anyway. All right, so what, what, what do you need me to, where do you need me to take you? I, I'm going to miss another uh, taping of, of, of Monster Madhouse. I have to get the Channel 12. I don't want to miss another taping. I mean, they need me, and, and Contessa Vanessa, I've got a bone to pick with her. I, I really need to get there, I mean, as fast as you can get all me All right, there. all right, so we, we'll, we'll put this in gear, and we'll, we'll go, and uh, we'll take well, you to... to what? What? There's what? a fleshy. I haven't had anything since but, but, Friday. But you're in a rush. What are you doing? I, just one quick bite. No, you, you, we've got to, we've got to. You, this is, this is highly irresponsible. You can't do that. We're going to be late. What? Have you? Senor Boloff, you know, there was conclusive proof that, you know, zombies attack and kill people. Yes. Vampires. Which makes the monsters, of course. the blood of the living. Yes, which makes now, the monsters. It makes perfect sense to me that you could classify these things as monsters because, obviously, they do harm to humanity. Yes, but you see, a monster has wings and teeth and it breathes fire and it destroys buildings. That's what monsters do. These are... Yeah, uh, vampire. You see, when it bites somebody, they give them immortal life, so they see. You know, I think you're, I think you're Not blurring the lines of uh, of uh, reason here, because certainly, no. you know, anything that would Indeed. kill a human and suck its blood. Yes, but now when a vampire is officially or eat its flesh. Yes, but when he turns into a wolf, don't like that. Don't like or that. a wolf no. monster or a bat. Right. Well, there you go. A bat. A wolf man. About a wolf man, he's part wolf, he's part man. Is he a monster? Mm -hmm. At that time, yes. At See, the you time, know, I, I, I but he you wears know, no. You've confused even me now. Yes, how many monsters wear a tuxedo? The DNA structure is totally different, sir. That's a significant hair, point. Cologne, all that kind of stuff, you know. What's that noise? I don't know. Uh, Gizmo, is that one of your gadgets making a sound? Actually, sir, I did uh, note that the, the, wait, the uh, vampometer wait, wait. was uh, the vampire starting vampire to. Uh, let, me, let me give it a reading here. Sir. Oh, good God! Oh, good! Oh, good God! Oh, 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 God! Is this the uh, the madhouse? This is the monster madhouse. Welcome, uh, everybody. I, I I've got something very got, important sir. in here. Oh, I've got a <laughs> reading on here. I've got a reading, reading on here. We better take a reading yes. here before we yeah, open yeah, that yeah. up. Yeah, yes, but right? you've got to. I mean, yes, 
Count. I've got two. Yes, I do have two now. Look. Yes. look, look. Seems to be okay here. So I hope you've got I'm two. Not sure. Yes, yes. Count the Lord Duval. Oh my goodness. Reach oh my goodness. My goodness. Look, 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 yes, yes, yes. yes. It's him. Indeed. Handsome devil, isn't he? Indeed. Oh, no, but, no, Mr. But, Borloff but will love like this one bit. Yes. Oh, you must movie. be, you must be Carlos Borlaug. I'm Carlos Borlaug. I was in your dungeon not too Yes, I know that, and I, I thought you went to Ohio no. to become a horror host. We did, but uh, tonight we have a film that we had first mm. seen on your instructional program uh, yes. about this brain that wouldn't die. Oh, yes, I see you have so a brain. Oh, I love slapping brain. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Careful, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. easy. Well, 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 well. Telepathically connected to that. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Give it a good shot. Give it a good shot. Come on. Oh, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at the jiggle. Oh, Now, the problem is is that this brain, we've I've tried to dye it over and over. I've tried purple dye, I've tried red dye, and you... So, so let me guess, that's a brain that wouldn't die. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Therein lies the mystery. But, but, but speaking about brains, uh, in that bag that I, that I brought in, there is... The bag. I'll tell you what, I've got to... There's, there's so many things I've got to show you. Look, look. I just here. want to show you one thing now. Okay, what do you want to show me? Well, basically, the problem is... With this brain that wouldn't die, we've been working on the thing, and oh goodness, oh god, oh. the brain, how does the brain not die? He's oh, a brain. It's a chunk of brain. Oh, that's okay. Uh, but, but, but look, look here, we have, we have many things here. This is one of your the, the, uh, contemporaries, the Count Dracula, um, who is uh, also a... Bela Lugosi, uh, yes. my, my idol. I, yes. I, he, he's, I, I, He's been idle for many years. Another yes. so very sophisticated vampire. And of course, the Bride of Frankenstein, the king of all lizards, who we all know yes, who that Jim is. Morrison, yes, Jim Morrison, yes. The, the lizard king, Jim Morrison, yes. that's correct. Yes. Who, but, by the way, is alive and well and living in sin with Amelia Earhart in Paris. But that's okay. And that's Elvis a rumor. Presley, I know. And yes, no, we, yes. we have a special about that planned in the near future. Speaking um, about something special, you see, I was helping the uh, this, yes, this young lady, and, and I was very bringing special. her over, and we in the talking. bag over there. Yes, the bag and the and the special. It's a special bag, and I will keep it forever. And I thank you so much. The doctor's probably already got it in the collection. But um, anyway, what we've got to do is I've got what to show you. What do we have to do? This, you're in the Monster Madhouse. Yes. This is a rare opportunity. It qualifies. It is a legendary Count Gore. You can see Count Gore's escapades at www.countgore.com Creature Features, the weekly web program. What is a week? A weekly? A weekly, a that's weekly. every week, every, every week. Saturday night. Every at www.countgore.com, we bring you a whole plethora of horror. It's amazing the things that we've discovered through this man. And if you've seen some fantastic. horrible plethora, I mean, it's at like... The plethora creature is one of them that we are going to be looking for very soon. Plethora. It's like Mothra and... You know, all that kind of stuff, plethora. But anyway, we have Count Gore here in the Monster Matter. I must show you around the studio, uh, the, 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 the micro zoo where we keep the creatures. Uh, the, the, uh, guys, guys, guys. We have a film a tonight. I'm a little more zealous and a little more anxious with a vampire. You, sir, you do realize he is a vampire. Oh, right? absolutely. That is so good. But guys, no, I'm no, going to show the Count around. Take this and introduce the public's audience to our story for the is that, evening. Is that a real brain? I, I and the Count will be back in a while. I've got to show him you know, my, something my on collection. My mind. Count, come I'll, with me. I'll take that for you, sir. Oh, my mind is on something. Uh, yes, I'm with you. My mind is on. Hmm. OK, well, I don't know what we're going to do with this thing. Uh, sir, it, we've certainly, certainly got a work cut out for no, us. No, I, I don't want to tell uh, uh, Mr. Borloff, sir, what's in the bag. And it certainly will be uh, quite uh, the letdown when he does see what's in there. You know, Gizmo. Don't zombies normally die when you cut their head off? I was going to say something about that, sir, uh, also. The, uh, uh, I guess in, the, in this case, this might be a, a condition of the, the brain that wouldn't die also. Uh, it's, it's very possible, sir. Well, come I, over here. Let's, uh, let's examine this that, uh, thing one more time here. Uh, well, I, I, sir, I, I believe that uh, we here, should... Here, let's put that brain down, for God's sakes. Uh, right, right. 
Anything won't die. Anything I, anything I do, sir, could yeah, be of assistance here. Step over here. No, yeah. no. You know, sir, when, when Mr. Borlaw finds us, he really is going to be very angry. He oh, really will be very angry. Well, you are, you dear. I should have known he was as good as dead when they wheeled him in. You did everything possible, everything you could, Dr. Cordes. Everything. Everything except save my patient. Everything in the books. Now, Dad, do I have permission to take over and try things my way? The operating room is no place to experiment. He's dead. I can't do any harm. Very well. The corpse is yours. Do what you want to do. All right. Make an opening into the chest cavity. Apply 100 milliamps of current directly to the heart, then massage by hand. I'll handle the brain area. By yourself? By myself. work fast, if it isn't too late. You talk as if he's still alive. He is. I just picked up a faint pulse beat. Keep massaging the heart. I am, I am. These electric shocks should stimulate the motor area enough to innovate the heart again. Then he won't need any external stimuli. Keep away from the motor area. You'll paralyze him for good. Which would you rather be, paralyzed or dead? Try to play God. Some choices are not yours to make. When the obstetrician has to decide which to save the mother or the child, who plays God then? 
It's part of the game. Game? The human body's not a jigsaw puzzle to experiment on. Still playing it safe like the other doctors, hmm? Might as well save my breath. Keep massaging the heart. You've already lost your patient, Doctor. I'm going to save mine. His pulse is coming back stronger than ever. It's unbelievable. Nothing's unbelievable if you have the nerve to experiment. I've been working on something like this for weeks. In your laboratory? I knew this would work if only I had the opportunity. You don't conduct experiments on people. You should be sure of the results first. I am now. Stop massaging the heart. Let's see if it can take over by itself. up the chest. I'm about to finish with the cerebral area. How's his pulse? Strong and steady. You did perform a miracle. I may not approve of your methods, but I am proud of your results. Amazing. Even an extraordinary operation, son. But it still is too risky, too uncontrolled. Saved his life. And the after effects? What about them? You've lost the urge to experiment, to explore. explore on people. Before you put a scalpel to one, an operation like this needs testing under every condition. Over and over again. Rabbits, mice, monkeys, not people. That man who should be dead now won't think so. There's more to surgery than just being a carpenter to patch up walls or a plumber to drain pipes. Our bodies are capable of adjusting in ways we've hardly dreamt of. If we can only find the key. I'm so close now, so very close. The key to what? Complete transplantations. To be able to transplant limbs and organs. To be able to replace diseased and damaged parts of the body as easily as we replace eye corneas now. So that the new parts will join together as though they were born there. It can't be done. It can be done. With my new special compound I've created, I'll do it. I know I can do it. Sure, sure, that's what you say. That's what I know. I know I'm close. Oh, darling, I'm so proud of you, I could kiss you. Promises, huh? Always promises. <laughs> Careful, your father's liable to report us. <laughs> and stop the floor show? When you two are married, it won't be fun to watch anymore. Well, I can promise you one thing. Your grandchildren won't be test tube babies. You better hurry if you want to catch that plane to Denver, Dad. You know that medical convention can't start without you. Uh, Jan, you'd uh, better check about my reservations. Oh, yes, I'll call the airport. I'll be right back. Bill, the line between scientific genius and obsessive fanaticism is a thin one. Now, I want you on the right side of it. If I don't experiment, how can I hope to perform operations like the one you almost messed up? But I can't cover up for you anymore. The superintendent had it out with me. He thinks it's you who's been stealing those limbs from the amputee operations. 
So what if it is? I've got to have limbs for my transplant experiments. Well, you said test an experiment. Test an experiment. Test for limbs and organs taken from people. I've got to have them to work with. Sure, I've made a few mistakes, but I've learned from them. I've learned. Your reservations are all set. 3.30 take off. Well, what have you two planned for the weekend? Oh, nothing much. It's a quiet weekend. Are you sure you're not going up to the country house? You're always sneaking off up there. The place gives me the creeps. I, I should have sold it when your mother died. You can't sell that place. Well, I mean, it's nice to get away from the city. I can work without anyone snooping around. You spend too much time up there. All right, I'll, uh, I'll see you both in a few days. Got to clean up and get out of here. Fine operation or not, Bill. You're walking on thin ice. But don't go too far. Oh, every time you touch me, I go out of my mind. I want to kiss you. Bill, I want to get married. I can't stand not having you. You've been wonderful. I'd rather be a bride. In a few more weeks. And nothing will keep us apart. We'll be together. Dr. Cordner. I'm so glad you're here. I was afraid you'd gotten away. There was a very important phone message that came to you. It sounded quite urgent. I've been looking everywhere. It was from a man called Kurt. He called from the country place, and he said something terrible had happened. He wanted you to come right out. Thank you. Well, you've always wanted to know what's kept me away from you so many weekends. Have you got the keys to your car? Gizmo, I think we may need to increase the pressure in the uh, cranial aspirate. Uh, Got a what? Indeed, sir. What happened? What kind of reading did you get? 7.5, sir. Write that 7 .5. down. 7.5, oh, that's, that's yes. quite yeah, high. That's a, but quite I, I mean, a bit of I, I, It's very What's nice, sir, I must tell you this, but I mean, oh. You did uh, this. She's not dead. No, I'm not. No, she's dead. Right. No, that's right. She she's is undead. She was, she she's was, undead, actually, like yourself, she sir. Was in the, oh, it, that's what I'm trying to tell you. That's yes, what was in the blue bag I brought in. I think oh. I'm missing something. Yes. Why oh, didn't you no. say something? Something really important. Uh, look, oh, sir, let, sir, let, sir, let, let, let me explain what how you would happened. React. She, you know, the, Sally, the, the zombie chick, so called me and had me pick her up to bring, you, bring her over here. And we were on our way here, except she got waylaid by the fact that she wanted to suck on a Fleshy. I was oh, no. I really oh, wanted to see that. I didn't jumped out of the car, ran through traffic, oh, and I'm then this, 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 this Prius came along with a slopey hood, smacked her, threw her up oh, in the air. While she was up in the air, the 18 wheeler smacked her off the, uh, the whatchamacallit oh, the thing. And it, it threw her over into the next lane where they were grinding the pavement. They oh. dropped her in front of the pavement grinder. Oh, and he ground her up and I hope out of the chute, this is what came. Well, obviously, wow. we're going to need a new body, aren't we? Because she's got no body. Uh, I ain't got I no ain't body. Got no body. No body? Contessa, oh, I had a bone to pick with you. Come here, come here. Come here. Contessa oh, would rather um, fetch in yourself. Hey. Mrs. Borlock. Come here, Contessa. Count I'm Count Gordival. The legendary you Count Gordival. You can call me anything you want. Hey. <laughs> anytime you want. Such a sharp-looking man on the side. This is your fault, Contessa. This is all your fault. If you wouldn't have shit me out of that bus, this would have never happened. This is ridiculous. I have no body now. I just kind of... Well, it's one way to get ahead in life, isn't it? Yes. I'm but, hungry still. I didn't even get my fleshy. At least your brain didn't die. Well, that's well, true, but... You I'm, see, that's the thing with a zombie, is that is she, is she alive or is she oh. dead? 
No, she's Memorex. You see, that zombie is kind of a case of a brain that wouldn't die because actually it dies and then it comes back. Oh, this. Good God, get a room, people. Contessa, control yourself. He's a vampire. Remember well, that. She's a vampire too. She's a vampire and too. And all sir. you guys want to do is go chase what was that? monsters. Sorry, I told you, you should have locked them up. Yes, and and vampires don't have anything up. to do with monsters. Well, well you know, as humans, oh, we do sir, kind of I take exception to the fact that you suck out blood. You know, it's uh, quite unsettling, you know. No, they drink the blood. You they have, drink. and you yes. have, okay. They can test sir, did you show them the proof? Teenies. Did you show them the proof, sir? Look, see right here. here. Let me see your finger. If right you look here. in the newspaper, see that? I'll get you Vampires oh, I can't attack forgive you for this. US I can't. Troops. Now, here's Doesn't get any more exactly. than that, sir. Let me see this. Look at this. Sir. This is the weekly world news. If the U.S. government That's considers you a monster, then we do too, sir. Look at this. We found this, you know where we found this? In the grocery store. So it's got to be true. <laughs> Vampires attacking U.S. troops. So oh, why do you explain Wait that? a second. Bloody hold vampires, a bunch of blood They're no good. Yeah. They make me run out in traffic and hit my car. Look at the, the byline. Dick Cheney. Come on, give me a break. Well, well, all part better, of the war on terror, sir. There are vampires yeah. ever in Iraq and Afghanistan as well, obviously. Hey, vampires vampires suck as far as yeah. I'm concerned. Why? Contessa, yes, that's hey, it. Look at you, you're fine today. You're still talking and stuff, aren't you? Doctor, you need to fix you're this. The you need chef. to fix this right I'm now. I'm like, I can't so, spend the rest. I so can't So we're going to around. need a body for this thing. I'm never going to Yes, what has happened to her Her torso and her threeso? Well, her, her torso is spread out all over Route 7. So. Oh. <laughs> I've been around the asphalt. <laughs> Doctor, you gotta fix this. I don't care what you do. Uh, you I'll gotta do put it back together. Can. Perhaps we can, uh, you know, do the old reverse yeah. jigsaw. Yeah. But, you know, piece me together. I'll tell you I, don't what, care. Going... I, I can't spend the rest well, of listen, my life like no, this. I'll never catch another foster you again. It's terrible. It's okay. Crazy. I think we need to get back to the movie while we discuss this. And That's how right. we're going to get her a body. Maybe we can do it at one of the personal appearances I can do. I can find a volunteer who That's will give her right. a body. That's right. But we can talk about that later. I think, okay, let's go, let's go see what happens. Maybe we can get a clue from the movie. The movie? Or the, the movie! The movie! Movie! The movie. Sprocket hole. The brain not dying, stuff the like movie, that. The movie. The brain that wouldn't what, die. Let's uh, go over here. And, uh, we'll be there soon enough. You'll see. I've got to hurry.
right, all right. For God's sake, open the door. I'm coming. Look. What's happened to you? It's been a terrible accident. I've got to save her. I've got to save her. What is it? What have you got there? Kirk, please. Sterilize the tubes and instruments quickly. What are you going to do? Aren't you going to have a look in the closet first? No, I can't now. This is more important. But you don't understand. For God's sake, Kurt, this is urgent. Do as I tell you before it's too late. I can't waste precious time arguing with you. Eyes are deceiving me. What you see is real. What's done is done, and what I've done is right. It's the work of science. Success with transplants. Now I can do it for her. Transplant her to what? I brought her back. She'll live and I'll get her another body. I can make her complete again. Only a madman can believe that she could ever be like before. Don't argue with me. I love her too much to let her stay like this. I'll restore her as before. You'll see. Can't you realize? Can't you see? There's a pattern to all that lives. An order, an arrangement. She had a heart and a brain, and her spirit was in both, not in one or the other. No. I'll give her a brain and a heart. Yes, and what of her soul? You say you love her. You can remember her love for you. Then how can you make of her an experiment of horror? All the skill and science I possess was meant for this. Life has a pattern. The whole pattern of my life is shaping itself to save her now. Then you intend to go through with it? Yes. Sleep, my darling. Rest and grow stronger.
do you think we can keep her alive under these conditions? 48. 50 hours at the most. Yes. And you really believe you can work a transplant on her? Successfully? Yes. Like my arm. Withered and deformed. Yours was an early experiment that failed. With her, I'm using my new adreno serum. Must work. I, I've got to go now. If the police or anyone call, tell them you don't know anything about it. I don't think anyone will trace us here because her body was burned in the wreckage. Yes, yes, of course, of course. Look, Bill, before you go, do have a look in that closet. It's the reason why I called you up here. her a body. How are you going to go about getting one? Bill, how will you do it? There are ways. There are ways.
All right, uh, let's see if this yeah, works. I, I, I hate to tell you, no, but sir. I, I, I don't think those are hers. This is just not going to well, work. Uh, We're going to need more Elmer's glue, I think. Well, the tissue regeneration closer. system, sir, the tissue regeneration system should work with bit. any uh, type of body well, part. Well, let's break can, away from this you know, right now. We need to... any DNA structure to the now, necessary match. Now, she used to have ticklish feet. She used to have ticklish feet. It's not... It's not... It's They're not, not staying not, up very well. Ah! Ah! I see you've begun the reconstruction process of uh, uh, Sally, the zombie cheerleader. Uh, they're going to put her back together. Don't well, let her have that. No, well, stop. Well, sir, the tissue regeneration I think, I, I think what we need. I think what we need is a full body. And I, you know, I, I, Look, I've got a bunch of uh, uh, personal appearances coming up, and I can go for volunteers. Like on October 7th, we're going to be up at the Cinegraphic Studios up in Frederick, Frederick Maryland, Maryland. Yes, 730. Yes. We, you know, we can go up to Frederick and get that. Good and place. Then on the 14th, I'm going down to Chesapeake, Virginia. We might get a Southern Virginia babe, a bell, The whatever. Monster Fest. A Monster Fest, yes. And then, well, uh, well, we don't want a monster body. <laughs> no. Oh, wait. We what are you doing to me now? And then it's going to be the Spooky there, Movie huh? Film Festival, uh, which is October 27th. And uh, through the, yeah, you know, you see it right there on your screen. Yes, and, then, yes. and then, of course, there's the Halloween. So on the 31st, we have all those things coming up. And I'm sure I can find the body for you. We just got to keep your head alive. Can, yes. can you do me a favor? Can you not suck their blood out? Because, you know, I, I don't want to, you know, a, a yeah, people you know, jerky I, doesn't I, turn I, me I've on. I've already mm -hmm. fed this evening, and frankly, people well, jerky. speaking of blood, you know, we do have some lovely samples back in the dissection. I mean. Uh, laboratory. So oh, really? Perhaps you would like to uh, sample mm. some A. Uh, oh, you know, I never turned uh, down free blood. I don't know, Gizmo. I think uh, he's got some kind of plan figured out for Calvary. Are you trying to? Can you take Contessa along with you? Are you going to you know, get, him? Like, get rid of her, too? I don't know what they want to do, but they want to test. Look, he's writing down notes right now. I think uh, Mr. Barlow, yeah, yeah, and, and company. This, this, it's been fun. It's See, been, it's been great. I, I think, I think, uh, I, I think this, this. We're sorry, we'd like to run some more tests to before you leave. Let's, let's go. Oh, are you sure you wouldn't like that? Hey, yeah, just yeah, another yeah, couple of minutes. Come back here, Hank. Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna oh, go I didn't with even them. Get to use the thermal. I gotta uh, get Cam Gore to sign my poster. <laughs> I'm gonna follow them. <laughs> What's going on? Mm -hmm. I really can't. What took you so long? What made you think I'd come? You know a good thing when you see it. Yeah, there was plenty to see. I liked your act. Is that all you liked? Well, your costume, what there was of it, was interesting. Is that all? The rest of the equipment is standard. But, uh, the arrangement is pretty special. You know, tourists just looking at the sights. What are you doing here, slumming? Well, I get my allowance once a week. Okay, if you're so loaded, you pay for the drinks. I already did. Are you hustling for the house? I hustle for myself. I'm the leading lady around here. I can sit with the squares out front, or I can relax back here with my friends. I'll bet you don't have an enemy in the world. Hmm? Thank <laughs> you. 
die. What are you, friend? Oh, around. Just looking around. When you get done looking, then what? I operate. I get your message. You're coming across. You could flip any chick in the house. Why me? Well, like I said, I'm looking. Well, you don't have to look any further. I'm not going to fake it for you. When do you go on again, hmm? When? <laughs> Relax. I got another show yet, but it could be for you. Oh, I was just asking. Try taking. I'm getting nervous. I'm over 21. No, it isn't that. It's... I just got things to do. Things to take care of. Well, if I don't exactly make you sick, what could be more important that could be taken care of right now? Well, I've, uh... I've got to see about helping somebody. Somebody who needs my help very badly. You can't cut out of me now, baby. Now when you got me feeling so good, I'm so warm all over. I'm good for you. I know I'm good for what you want. You may be just what I'm looking for. You've got your nerve. Oh, look who's talking. Why don't you haul your feet up, body, back to the bar with the rest of the flies? Keep your G-string on. I only came in here to change my clothes. I got admission. Now I'd like to see the rest of the show. Come back in half an hour and maybe you will. Get lost. Hi, lover boy. I see you've met the queen. <laughs> hey. Come here, don't hide. You know, you've got the kind of face a girl doesn't mind looking at. Even out front, all the other girls are asking about you. Get out of here. Choose company. Three, the crowd. Who's to tell me to blow if I don't want to? This here is my dressing room, too. Remember? It kills her to see me make time. You're the only thing that's going to be made around here tonight. Honey. Eat your heart out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, I'd better be going, hmm? What for? Look what you've done. You come back with your two cents? Let me see you later. I'll make everything up to you. I swear I will. Yeah. Come on back later. I'll remember you. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Lousy tramp. Once in a blue moon, I locked into a guy with class, and you messed it up. Eh, what makes you think you had him? He wouldn't have you on a set. Says who? Says me. What's a guy like that want with leftovers for? Leftovers? Why, well, you cheap third rate stripper? You are going over it. You cheap leave me home. In the side of the closet. What has he done to you? I know there's someone there. Knock once if you hear me. And 
I'm not the first. Not twice if I'm not the first. He should have let me die. I hate him for what he's done to me. He only knew what it's like being like this. Do you know what it's like? Together we could have revenge. You want revenge? brain's still untouched. And his keeping me alive has given me a power he didn't count on. A power that you can feel. Across this room and through that door. Can't you? Together, we're both more than things. We're a power as hideous as our deformities. Together, we'll wreak our revenge. I shall create power, and you will enforce it. You, the thing inside. Be the thing out here. What's locked behind that door? Horror. No normal mind can imagine. Something even more terrible than you. No, my deformed friend. Like all quantities, horror has its ultimate. And I'm that. No. There is a horror beyond yours. And it's in there. Locked behind that door. Paths of experimentation twist and turn through mountains of miscalculation and often lose themselves in error and darkness. Behind that door is the sum total of Dr. Courtner's mistakes. He had no right to bring me back to this. Perhaps not. Who knows? But you should know. Before 
He injected the serum into that. It was but a mass of grafted tissues. Lifeless. Just lay there, weighted down with its transplants of broken limbs and amputated arms. But with this serum, it began to breathe. It's impossible. Would you have thought possible what he's already done? Take yourself. He's brought you back. You live. Only a few years ago, all transplants were impossible. That's what he's been doing up here when no one could see his work. Yes. Experimenting with transplants on that. And on me. Letting him tear away my flesh time after time. Test after test. My hopes shattering with each grafted arm he fastened to me. Watching it wither and warp. Instead of strengthening. Do you see? He's learned from his mistakes. And you stayed with him. Helping him in his grotesque work that he claims is for science. Was there a place for me on the outside with this? A world where eyes would look upon me with pity. And people would turn away from me in disgust. No. The alcoholic has his bottle. The dope addict his needle. I had my research. I used to be a surgeon. It was my life. And one night in the laboratory there, there was an accident. They had to amputate my arm. And he has used you to... I have no choice. He was my only hope. A surgeon needs both his arms, not just one. Oh, you see, my transplanted grotesqueness stayed, and so did I. I live only for the day he can work a successful transplant to my body. That is why I stay. Transplant my head onto another body. Yes. And he's insane with the belief he can do it. But the tissues of my body would reject the tissues of another. Reject it as a foreign substance it is. The transplant would never take it, would never stay in place. My blood's antibodies would attack it as they attack any invading matter. Yes, but his new discovery, this new serum, may change all that. This serum injected into the bloodstream affects the lymphoid tissues. Here, in the neck. The lymphoids that provide the antibodies for the blood that attack foreign transplanted matter. It was untested, untried, till we used it on you. So, that liquid in the blood that's being pumped through what's left of me is what makes me feel the... <laughs> he may produce results he didn't ask for. Results? You mean, like this? Results more terrible than your arm of relative beauty. Results of power. Of magnitude. Power. What power? Can't you see that you're at the mercy of every element of the universe? How can you speak of power? I am a power. This liquid that he's pumped into me. My brain burns with it. That thing inside and I are in touch. Want me to prove it? You can prove nothing. You're powerless. I'll show you how powerless I am. You. Behind that door. <gasps> the 
let me know if you hear me. Whoever, whatever you are, I command you. You understand me? I'm only a head, and you're whatever you are. Together we're strong, more powerful than any of them. What are you running from? What's wrong with you? <clears throat> You. Something wrong, something beyond control in that room. There's nothing beyond my control. She's alive and I'll keep her alive until I find her a body. I can't talk anymore. I'm tired. I've got to go to sleep. Then you, you didn't find her a body? Well, I've got to be careful. I can't afford to be identified as the last person seen with a girl before she disappears. Do you think you'll get one? There are many things left for tomorrow. about to call a cop the way you were looking me over. How have you been, Bill? Oh, just fine, Donna. I haven't seen you for quite a while. Too long. I'm still waiting for that call you once promised me. Well, you know how it is with interns. All work. All work and no play even makes for dull doctors. You're gonna lose that bedside manner of yours. <laughs> Thanks. You really need to... Find something for me. I really want to get put back together. This is ridiculous. I can't live the rest of my life on, on no, a table. No, I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Perhaps we could uh, put her head on your body. Uh, no, sir. I, I I could really like. I would like to maintain my body, sir, and just uh, help you out with this uh, surgery. Right. There are a few right. things I might be missing. I, I don't. What am I? What no, good no, would no, I be no, no, without no. my hands? Hmm, let's see. Well, you know, there are all several uh, dance clubs we could uh, go check out, you know? Oh, hey, yeah, I can, I can go for a change in body, and, you know. I mean, they usually have it. very nice yeah. bodies. That, yes. But yes. I wouldn't know, because I don't go to those sort of places. But uh, hey, let's see. Um, yeah. Well, who do we know? Perhaps there's somebody we know already that has a suitable body Maybe. replacement. Female. Oh, hmm. got it. Kind of my size. That Countess okay. Contessa. Ooh. Sir, she you have a point yeah, there. You have a point there. Oh, what do you yeah. know? Oh, hello. Hello, I'm Countess Contessa. Contessa. You're not going to do that to She's me. She's a girl, man. Yeah. What, what are you talking about? We weren't we won't, uh, we won't talking about she. anything like using your I want your body, your Contessa. Your I want and, now. Uh, I could put your head in your uh, brain in suspended animation, and you yeah. really wouldn't know sure what was going on. there already. This is not so bad. You'd love it, Contessa. I don't want to eat rotten flesh. That's yeah. too well. Oh, no, don't, it's not, not bad once you get used to it. It's actually quite painless. Uh, yeah. You won't, you won't feel, a feel a thing, actually. And we can, with the tissue regenerator, we can attach all the nerve endings, and you, it will be like you, nothing has ever happened. True. We'll re-aspirate the skull and uh, and see what happens. Can't you find her another you body? Why do you have to use mine? It'll be a great donation to science. No, then what am I going to do? What, what's going to happen with Don't my head? Sorry, don't worry about it. Once I have your body, it's okay. I mean, are you getting anything from Ball off yet? He left us about 15 minutes ago. Oh, now. he's with Count Gold de yeah. He had to go off with him. He pushed me off, and he's there. I'm very upset at him. He's obsessed with Count Gold, <laughs> you know. 
Yes, I, I don't go, understand go the devour, obsession. I, I still don't understand why he won't see him as a he monster. He worships the man. I just he thinks he's an he idol. Loves him. Yeah, he loves him. He's a vampire. Truly is a strange. monster. I mean, yes. you know, we are the monster dominators, and we're supposed to like hunt down and kill monsters. That's all you talk about. Wrong with I don't know why I mean, really, some of us are better than others, but you know. Well, you know. Uh, well, undead is undead. Hey, don't concerned. knock it till you try it. Agreed. I don't know why he's obsessed with him. So, uh, anything from Borloff yet on the uh, enhanced auditory response system? Let me let me give it a test here, sir. Senior Borloff, can you hear me, sir? Ah, yes. Where are you at, sir? Count Gores, are you? Ah. Uh, coming back anytime soon. We're we're about to try the uh, tissue regeneration, and we may just use Vanessa's body uh, with the the zombie cheerleader's head. Yes. Okay. Bye bye. He's coming right away, sir. All right then. Well, uh. I'm Count Gordivall and this is my dungeon. We've got lots of stuff here on the shelves here that was given to me by, by fans and, and people I stole things from. And like only treats please, that was sent in, that was given to me by the lovely wife of a ghastly ghoul. We won't even explain that whole thing there. We don't want him to know about it either. And then of course we got this wonderful <laughs> from Trilogy of Terror. And then uh, we have... Uh, the, the Laughing Chef, huh? You've heard of the Iron Chef? Oh this is the Eternally Laughing Chef. Now, I shouldn't have done that because you know why? He doesn't know how to shut up. Yeah, you just keep telling him, you know? Okay. Now, down here we have the Frankenbass, and he's very quiet tonight. He's got a brain that we stole from Abby and stuck it in there and charged him up, and occasionally he makes snide comments about me. And, uh, ah, and then, of course, the book. The Vincent Price book, The Treasury of Great Recipes. <laughs> I love that. My portrait, done by the late Lauren Stauffenhorn, who did the paintings for the governors of the state of Maryland for a while. And uh, her lovely daughter, the Countess von Stauffenberger, brought it on. And of course, you go. Uh, hands here, hands there, a raven here, teddy bear here. I mean, you know, I just got stuff all over the place. What dungeon would it not be a dungeon without the good spider bed? And, uh, ah, the scariest monster of them all. <laughs> uh, Sister Hillary, yes. <laughs> Actually, you know, I shouldn't say that. That's not the scariest. Here's the real scary one. <laughs> Mega bush. Anyway, we go along here, my my Dracula Society. Oh, what's this? Oh, my Rondo Award, the 2000 Rondo Award. Count Gordivall for the best horror website. Yes, yes, I. I sucked it out. And finally, my chicken. <coughs> I love my chicken. My chicken is so wonderful. My chicken is never, is always faithful. My chicken is always true. My chicken is well hung. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do that. <laughs> and you know what? 
you never know who's going to sneak up right behind you. <laughs> As a matter of fact, that can wait. Now that there's two of you, we'll have to wait. Guess he thinks there's safety in numbers. Oh, well, this time there is. He promised not to hurt you. And I promise not to hurt you. to kill somebody, to rob them of their body. Do you hear me? Yes, you hear me. You know how Bill's egotism drives him on and on to infamy upon infamy. Who could ever be born of evil? Claims his work is for humanity. To be joined to flesh, not your own. What's human in this? 
of how you must exist locked behind that door. We've got to stop him. Okay, boys, I've had it for two Come on, baby, one more. Just one more, please. Another five minutes, baby. Time's just about up anyway. Okay. Say, Doris, would you like to have a drink with me? Just you and me, away from everybody? Some place where nobody will butt in with. You and I can really be alone. No, thank you. How about posing for me? Private like. I'll pay you real money. Real good money. The kind of money they don't throw at you every day. And for doing hardly nothing at all. I do my posing for classes only, Wednesdays and Saturdays, 8 to 10. Yes. Oh, but we can... Good night. See it all, mister. The show's over. Next time, bring a camera and buy a ticket. I'm not running a charity. You don't remember me, do you, Doris? Every guy on the make gives me that same tired line. I'm Bill Courtner. Bill Courtner. Long time ago, that fight. He almost tore that wise guy apart for making fun of me. After my accident. Look, uh, can't we go somewhere and talk? No, I don't date men. Because I pose like I do. Your mind works overtime. You get ideas. You're all alike. Oh, not all of us. I'm not on the make for you. Okay, so maybe you're better than most. Maybe not. I still hate all men. Oh, you hate them for what one did to me once. Have you forgotten? Well, have you? No, I haven't forgotten. Well, neither have I. I carry the memory around with me. But you can't hide yourself away here forever, posing bare in front of a bunch of neurotics. Listen, Galahad. I trusted a man once, all the way. What did it get me? He gets his head full of jealous lies, and I You've get... You've got to forget what How happened. can I forget? I carry the memory around with me. <laughs> Am I so appealing to you now? Still so interested. 
Doesn't it make you sick? You don't even turn away from me, like everyone else does. To me, you're not ugly. I see only beauty in you. You have a lovely body and a face that can be made beautiful again also. Yeah. I've heard that song before. I'm a doctor, I know. My father's one of the leading plastic surgeons. If anyone can help you, we can. I know I can. I've been to doctors. It's no use. The scar tissue's too deep. No one can help me. Oh. Oh, that was a few years ago. Today, nothing's hopeless. Uh, we can graft scar and skin tissue that... Well, we can even freeze areas of the skin and sand away damaged skin tissues. The way you say that, that look in your eyes, I almost want to believe you. I almost want to believe you. Well, then start believing, hmm? Even if your father could help me, I couldn't pay him the kind of money it would take. Don't talk about money. He does a lot of work without any charge. Why should you... Vanessa, you were supposed to trap Count Gore. Lure him in here and trap him for us. We had several experiments that we didn't get to do with him. Hello? I tried to. It was Borloff's fault. He was the one. I had him all ready. You know he's going to bring him. And then Borloff had to go and take him off. He doesn't want any experiments done on him. Well, Borloff has this weird uh, affection <laughs> that for... Oh, hello, <laughs> Mr. Borloff. <laughs> I've done it. I followed Count Gore. And I got your sample. I got him to sign my, 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 uh, my photograph. And here's your DNA sample. Sample. Right there. They wanted more than uh, that. I, can't, I cannot, cannot get a, a DNA sample from a pen. Yes, you can. See that piece of thing right there? Oh, no, that's a booger. That's Is from it? me. Oh, my. Ah. As long as there's just a small bit of flesh, I, I may be able to uh, anyway, out, get some tissue off of that. I was going to show Sa Sally or Sally. In the, the, where's my box? And Sally's head. Sir, uh, the doctor went, uh, took her down to the tissue regeneration system, and hopefully, with a, if all goes well, she should have a new body in a few minutes. So, I guess we're still in the middle of the documentary footage of the brain that wouldn't die. And yes, this is that one alive? I don't know. Hello. Oh! Oh, look Sir. what I've done, Sally. I've got her back. You've got a new body. It's all right. Yes. You'll get you'll get the feeling back in your legs very soon. Oh, oh. So it's gonna take a little while. Wow. Um, she oh, looks I good. Not, not bad, eh? Well, yeah, if to, I do uh, say so myself, I did some undead. pretty good work. I, I, wow. I couldn't reproduce those insane boots, though. Yeah, uh, so I'll let her use my, uh, yeah, my yeah, sand. Yeah, yeah, see, maybe that'll help you. Oh, yes. God, sustenance. Mm. Hey, hello. Oh, what are you trying off. to do? She can't eat yet. Yes, she can. She needs fuel. How long did you know? She needs more than that. She needs a long time. So oh, she's standing much better now. I, I think I can walk. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that, no. Mr. Ball. Yeah. Well, anyway, obviously she's a zombie, so she's got the kind of brain that would die, or it wouldn't die, or it shouldn't well, die, or it couldn't die, because they're reactivated. But in this film, documentary footage, the brain that wouldn't die is quite confusing to me, because I've dyed this brain. We dyed it purple, and the dye worked perfectly. Red, blue, all those things work just fine. So apparently this brain they have, just they can't die the brain. And uh, I see that, uh, yeah, no, you can't have this yet. But anyway, so uh, Halloween night, October 31st, we will be making an appearance back at the Old Town Movie Theater in Alexandria and uh, with Count Gore Duval showing the film documentary footage night. Living dead. 
there's any of you zombies out there see this? Ha ha, brains, brains, brains. Doctor, what's up? Fantastic work with the oh, tissue regenerator here. Oh, oh, she's not so careful in that. This uh, brain is still not dead, you know, but it's yeah, falling can't use apart. It. Uh oh, oh I know. Uh, Don't let uh, Sally get too close to that, sir. Yeah, well, it's uh, it's starting to decompose, so we'll have to put it back in the refrigerator. Can you save it? Oh, oh I don't think so. I it's should just. Uh, then let her eat it. Brain. Oh no, no. See, I must yes. uh, reuse mm. this tissue. Hello, so, here, Mr. Ball. I'll take it. No, 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 no. You can't say that we don't have any brain. Oh, good God, that thing is disgusting now. Sorry, Sally. Sorry, Sally. Is it good? Not that bad. Quite frightening. So we're going to get back to the brain that wouldn't die. Take notes. Turn on your television. Beware. Be very afraid. I'm sorry, Bill. I have been knocked around so many times. I've lost count. It's tough living with this. I don't mean to sound ungrateful. Well, because you've been battered around, don't go sour. You shouldn't lose your trust in people. Not all of us. I believe you. I want to. Do you really think something can be done? Only my father knows. Look, we have a country place just out of town. He's visiting for the weekend. I could take you there now for a consultation. You mean tonight? Well, if you'd rather wait till he comes back, if Oh, no, no. Back. I mean, he wouldn't be annoyed being bothered with me so late at night. Well, you let me do the worrying, hmm? I'll do anything that'll help me get rid of this face. <laughs> well, that's where I come in. Remember the last time I helped you? Where are you going? Who are you calling? My girlfriend. I want to tell her the news. Before you know what the verdict's going to be? You're right. I, I shouldn't talk until I know what's going to happen. Well, my girlfriend, she's supposed to drop in later. I'll have to leave her a note or something. Well, just tell her you'll see you later. Otherwise, she'll ask a lot of nosy questions. We want to be sure first. Just throw something on, huh? I'll be with you in a minute. Just tell her you'll keep in touch. I'll leave it on the table. She'll see it. Had to go out with old friend Bill Courtner. We'll call you tomorrow. Doris. Here. I'll leave it on the lamp. She'll see it, won't she? That's the first place she'll look. I'll leave the lights on for her. Hmm. I have waited so long for this. So have I. I have come to feed your friend. While you feed yourself with hate, it prefers food. Your former sniveling fear becomes you more. Yeah. What makes you think I'm afraid? 
afraid of what's in there. Or of you. A mere head in search of a body. People fear what they don't understand. And what they can't see. What are you talking about? You're nothing but a freak of life. And a freak of death. Why should I be afraid of a few knocks on a door? But last night you ran. You were afraid of what you imagined lay behind that door. I? Imagined? It was I who helped grab together the bits and pieces that were stolen from the hospital. An amputated arm, a leg, a torso. It was I who helped piece them together like a monstrous jigsaw puzzle. And that same medicine that he spread to me to activate my lymphoid tissues, has he fed it to that? No. No, on that he used an earlier formula. It wasn't as successful as the serum he's using on you. But it uh, was enough to allow the transplants to take. If your experiment is successful, oh, then it'll be my turn. And what else has happened to it? What do you mean, what else? Well, it's... It's mutated some, of course. It's changed considerably. Why don't you open the door? And we'll both see how it's changed. Listen, you. I warn you. You better stop pestering me, do you hear? I'm getting fed up with you and your insidious talk. He should have cut out your tongue while he was at it. Afraid? Afraid of whom? Of you? No. Not anymore. But of it. Nor of it. Keeps it locked in there so that it'll be safe, that's all. Safe? From me? <laughs> you beast. I hope he prolongs your existence into a lifetime of agony. Then we'll see who's laughing at whom. You miserable fool! Damn! Ah, welcome back. Very interesting documentary scientific footage of this brain that wouldn't die and what a dilemma, a woman's head. The doctor has actually, uh, he's a master of cloning and DNA technology. His Ivan is away on a mission, hunting monsters somewhere, probably in Siberia or someplace. He's probably in a shack somewhere. But the doctor's cloned his head. 
And, yes, uh, and I've actually telepathically linked myself, which I learned from this very excellent documentary footage about the brain that wouldn't die. So I've, I've taken an example from that, and I've telepathically linked, and he will speak for us now. Ah, uh, catchy little some melody. Kind of, some kind of Russian national anthem or something. Yeah, like so that. that's exactly what Hi. I was singing where, in my where, head. Where's <laughs> Sally going off to, uh, Senor Gizmo? Do he? Sir, she ran off after Count Gorga. No, no. She can barely even walk. I hope that she's stretching those muscles out for some somehow. Um, you know. She's gotta be doing some kind of workout. Here she comes now, sir. This oh, is uh, interesting here. What you got? Dr. Seth. Wow. This is a ball that I exercise on, Dr. Seth. Is that a three times a week? Oh wow. Oh yes, that the legs are the legs are working much better now. Oh wow. Certainly. Uh, yeah, well. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It's Perhaps it's the shoes, sir. Perhaps I think right. there's just a little bit of uh, re-education of yes. the brain. So it just doesn't quite. It's hasn't kind of uh, does she have a brain to begin with? It hasn't, oh, it hasn't really matured oh. properly, as Indeed. you can see. She's uh, regressed back to kindergarten years. Yes. I didn't know right. zombies had brains. Wow. Well, she really do, does. In fact, they're but, just uh, as a matter of fact, decayed. They have a the brain. Oh, it's at the neocortex, actually. That's right. The brain Small dies. Small primordial jelly. And then it in the comes center. back. And then you have to shoot them in the head to make them die. So, but this one, the doctor has been working with for a long time, and she is our she, she's coming liaison, along wonderfully. Kind of fuzzy. Yes, we're working, we're working on colors now. Uh, oh. Getting back into shape, uh, being able to help us with our further missions, and uh, of course the uh, Ivan head here uh, to, to to give you the example. The brain will not die if separated from the rest of the organism. But we're going to go back to tonight's movie, uh, excuse me, documentary footage, The Brain That Wouldn't Die. This isn't helping. Is this supposed to work? You and your father live here? Only on weekends when we want to get away from the city. The place certainly is lonely. Well, the further from prying eyes, the better. I mean, it's nice and quiet here. We can get away from the noise and telephones. Oh, I guess it is. Well, sit down, sit down. I'll fix us a drink, huh? My father should be back soon. You mean he's not here now? Oh, come on now, Doris. Do I look like a maniac who goes around killing girls? Now you've got to learn to trust people. Oh, people like me, really. Oh, I'm sorry. I trust you. I trust you with my life. Well, I can't ask for any more than that. I'll be right back.
to think you'd forgotten about me. Forgotten you? Why, Doris, you've become very important to me. Very important. I put a little water in it so it wouldn't be too strong for you. Fine. I'm not a very heavy drinker. Neither am I. Well, um, here's to your future, whatever it may be. I'll drink to that. in my drink, didn't you? I'd bring you a body. A beautiful one. Soon it will be yours. Bill, you can't. Yes, I can. I want you as a complete woman, not part of one. Is it a crime to want to keep you alive? Is it a crime for science to jump ahead by years? This kind of thing must be done. When it's over, you'll see. I've got to hurry now. The drug will wear off soon and she'll be awake. When she does come to, it will be your head consciously awakening for her.
The head that wouldn't die? The head? Was... I thought it was a brain! But this was What's that? Brain. Up in the road. What happened? It a head? Have... Yes, they yeah. must have been right. the uh -huh. uh, American uh, dubbing of this film, uh, The Head That Wouldn't Die. It's lost in translation, I should think. I was told originally that this was the brain that shouldn't die, uh, but apparently this documentary film is not about the brain that you couldn't color. It's about a woman's head on a plate that's alive and it's all messed up. But you know how a woman's head is on the inside. Oh my God, imagine if it's not attached to it's still alive. Ah! Anyway, uh, I've got one of Ivan's weapons here. Uh, he's off in the, uh, God only knows where he's at, but uh, anyway. Um, you know what I do this, Doc? She's well, still working know, out here. Well, it looks like you're starting to get some of the tone muscles uh, back in your legs, so, uh, you know, oh, only about another three months of uh, three hours per day, seven days a week. And, Recommended uh, therapy. You should be, uh... Yeah. Alive and kicking. Do oh, zombies wait, no, even have time? I didn't yeah. think zombies had time. They'll still be undead. Whatever. Oh, well. Would you like here? Give we've us got, some. We yeah. got a snack for her. Oh. I don't know. There's some of those cookies left. Those here, there's some. Seriously. The, there you go. There you go. Here you go. Here you go. I'm feeling generous now. Oh, I thought you were for her. At the end of that movie, you know, he gets the girl to drink, you know, some kind of, you know, alcoholic beverage with it spiked. It's I mean, could you believe that someone would fall for that? It's quite disturbing. Quite not disturbing. at all. I mean, imagine what he would be doing with her or something, you know? No, oh, but uh, I know that uh, we had some cookies a couple of weeks ago that had a little bit of sleepy stuff in them, you know what I mean? The magic cookies? <laughs> not the good kind either, the bad kind. Whoa. Countess, would you like a drink? Oh, yes. boy, thank you. <laughs> I just love one. <laughs> drink up, my darling. Here, <laughs> yeah, enjoy that. So anyway, next uh, next show, we are live on TV right now. If you come down here, we're here right now, man. I'm telling you. But for the next two weeks, it's going to be repeats. We're going to be no, live again sorry. on Friday the 13th. Oh, I'm sorry. Friday the 13th. We are going to be live showing the movie Night of the Living Dead. Some of her people in it. You know what I mean? Yes, zombies. George Romero film from 1968. Uh, apparently there was a lot of zombies around in uh, Pennsylvania in 1968. Frightening stuff. And apparently they're still around. We've got to be trying to find this Romero film. But uh, classic, classic movie. And uh, that's Friday the 13th. Tune in. If you see a football game or something on TV, just stay on the TV. Leave the TV on because we're coming on right after the football game. <laughs> Whoa. Sorry about that. So, Countess, uh, are, you, are you feeling the slightest bit drowsy at all? Oh, I don't know why you said that. Well, you know, uh, I, it still amazes me that someone would fall for the old, uh, you know, sleeping potion in the uh, drink bit. <laughs> Sir? Good I'm going to take her back to the laboratory. Yes, I'll, I'll, I'll see you guys later. Yeah, go run some experiments on that one. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, <laughs> also remember, <laughs> Night of the Living Dead, George Romero film. And also, Count Gore will be in Frederick, Maryland, October 7th at Cinegraphic Studios in Frederick. Check it out. Go to www.countgore.com and watch that. And, uh, and you can also see us at www.monstermadhouse.com. Monstermadhouse.com. And you can go see her site at the zombie, uh, excuse me, at uh, www.thezombiecheerleader, no, www.myspace.com, the forward slash, the zombie cheerleader, at MySpace, zombie cheerleader. And uh, October, Halloween night, October 31st, we're gonna be at the Old Town Movie Theater in Alexandria with Count Gore Duvall. Whoa, whoa! Ah! The vampire uh, It's going to be hosting Count Gore Duvall, Night of the Living Dead with us, the Monsterminators. And I don't know where the rest of the guys went to, but uh, all yeah, apparently everybody's, uh, yeah, everybody's taken off. off. So now I have the show all to myself. I'm going to get a little bit, of, a little bit of talent going here. 
You've heard of skull juggery? Well, this is called skull juggly. Yeah, a little bit of skull juggly here, and we're gonna open up a uh, circus act there, and whoa. Anyway, so uh, we're gonna wrap things up. Friday the 13th, monstermadhouse.com. Thank you for watching the spooky movie. And thank you to Count Gore, and we want to send a shout out to Dr. Sarcophagi, who will be joining us very soon too, possibly on the 13th. Monstermadhouse.com. Keep your TVs turned on and yourselves turned on. And don't do anything I wouldn't do. and I'm gonna kill it, all right? Kill it, for real. The monsters aren't real. <laughs> Even if I say it right now, it is clueless, but 